Hey guys, I'm Skillzologic here with another Minecraft video. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is a 1.16 Magma Cube farm. With the new 1.16 update, there has been Magma Cube spawners in the nether. And I will show you guys where to find them and how to do an amazing Magma Cube farm that is great. This little guy's looking at me. So yeah, if you guys have not subscribed, make sure you do. And if you like the video, make sure you like I make more Minecraft content every week and you guys do not want to miss out on that. So make sure you do subscribe. Let's get right into the video. So in the new 1.16 nether, this type of structure does spawn and some of them do have magma cube spawners and some don't. Now they are all different. Not all of them look like this. They all contain different things and different lava pools. Like some don't even have lava pools and they look very different on the outside. But if we travel inside, you guys can see that this one does have a magma cube spawner and it is all the way at the bottom of the structure. You guys can see there is many, many floors. But if you go all the way down to the lava floor, there are some chests with a magma cube spawner. Now, what I want to do first is just destroy everything. Now, I need a lot of space for the spawner. Actually, I don't really need that much space. But you guys want to make a room that is big enough for all of the magma cubes to spawn. So you want the biggest ones being able to spawn too. And they're pretty big. So you do need a pretty big room for all of them to spawn. Once it's all cleared out, you just want to fill in the floor with lava. I don't recommend filling the entire floor like this because it'll take too many blocks. You could just fill the surface because it is not going to matter. The magma cubes are not going to explode the floor or anything. So you don't really need to worry about the floor too much as long as it is any type of block. So I'll just fill it in with some of these blocks and show you guys how much needs to be filled. Okay, so I filled out a little bit, but what you want to do in order to check to see how much you need to fill in is you got to go five blocks from the spawner. So if we go here, we have five blocks on this side and we'll do the same thing for every single side just so we know how much space we actually need. Right here it is four and the last one is inside the wall. So just destroy this little bit, which is not that much, something just like this and it should be good enough to uh, make it. Then you want to just keep it at floor level where the lava is so it doesn't really matter what height it is. You just got to make it floor level right here. Four is perfect. And at the top, we want to destroy this chain and actually make it two above. So we go one, two, and then the roof is above it. So this is what you want for the dimensions in the spawner. I will say it again, the sides need to be five long. The bottom four is fine. And then the top two is good. So something like that you want the box to be. So what I will do is just make the little box around these perimeter and show you guys how that looks. There we go, the inside room is done. It should look something like this if you want to use polished blackstone brick. Of course, you could use any block you want, but this is basically the main thing done. Next, what you're gonna need are actually poppers and some iron. Now, the reason why is because you need to make an iron golem and you want to have hoppers in order for it to be an actual good farm where you don't have to touch anything and it'll basically be an automatic farm. So, let's get right into that step. Now, it doesn't matter what direction you put it, 
but you need to make a little little passageway I made it right here inside the wall to make it a little bit easier but just a little passageway for the iron golem a little room that the iron golem could sit in so he doesn't die to the magma cubes and so the magma cubes don't kill him now once you make a little room I will just add some fences at the top and at the bottom so the magma cubes cannot go in there the small ones I believe can go in there but the iron golem will be able to take them out super easily so once you do this, I will just add the iron golem like this so he does not die. That's perfect room for him. And what you'll see is the magma cubes will start going to the iron golem and he will eventually, yep, just like that, just start killing all the magma cubes and then they drop their magma slime right, right, right here. It's not magma slime, magma cream on me. Right here and this is where the hoppers come in handy. So I will put it in peaceful real quick and show you guys what I usually do is add some chest right here and then just add a few hoppers on each side that actually go to the chest so that they don't just get stuck in the hoppers and they all lead to the chest. Something like this is good. Now, the more you have, the better, but I see that this works best. So once you have it like this, everything will just go into the magma cream and we can put it back on hard and show you guys how it works. As you guys can see, little by little, the magma cubes will start finding the iron golem. It will reach their radius and they will start going to them. As you can see, some of them have already, but you could see that the iron golem is not getting affected by the magma cubes because the big ones are actually not able to hit them. Only the small ones are, but the small ones don't really do any damage. So you just get free magma cream from everything. Here they go again. Here is a medium sized one that is coming and the iron golem is just going to try to attack him as best as possible. He's already hit him a few times. There we go. Another magma cream added to the chest. Now we have three and we didn't even wait a long time at all. And all you have to do is AFK. You don't need to do anything. Just AFK and the magma cubes will automatically just go to the iron golem. And just like that, super easy way to get some magma cream. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. Also, another thing is you could add light to this room so nothing else spawns because the magma cubes will indeed still spawn like I have a glowstone right up here and the magma cubes do still spawn. So it works better on hard because more will spawn. But that is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you found it helpful, make sure you leave a like and subscribe like I said in the beginning so you can see more videos just like this and some other cool Minecraft videos. Hopefully it helped you. See you guys next time. Goodbye.